welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy you stopped by. Well, it's time for another Around the World collaboration where we usually pick a different country to uh, prepare one of their dishes, one of their specialty dishes. But since it's gonna be Valentine's Day next Wednesday, we're doing a Valentine's Day theme. So each one of us is going to be making something that would be really good for a Valentine's Day meal. And I'm going to be doing dessert. We're going to be making a um, no bake strawberry cheesecake parfait. Now cheesecake is one of my absolute favorite, favorite desserts. If I had to pick one, it would be cheesecake. But if you've ever made a cheesecake, you know, there are a lot of work. You have to make the batter, which takes like 20 minutes. Then you have to bake it for uh, over an hour then let it cool in the uh, in the oven for like another hour, then chill it overnight. So it, it's this huge long process. But what I'm gonna show you how to do is make um, the parfait version. So it's like a lighter creamy cheesecake filling layered with buttery graham cracker crumbs and fresh strawberries. It is so light and delicious. Chris had two of them and I almost had two, but I refrained myself and they're so easy to do. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. And when you're done watching me, please go and visit everybody else in the collaboration. And this month's collaboration um, is put on by Sandy over at my Aussie's kitchen and Michelle at cooking with the spice queen. She kind of filled in for um, Sylvia and did the thumbnail and the trailer. So thank you, Michelle. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. For our ingredients, we're gonna need one cup of fresh strawberries, five ounces of soft cream cheese, one cup of graham cracker crumbs, some sugar, and some heavy whipping cream, vanilla, two tablespoons of melted butter. Now go ahead and wash your fruit really good and then you're just going to slice it up and dice it. You want them to be about this size. Then just place those in a small bowl and we're going to add a little bit of sugar to sweeten them up. I am adding one and a half tablespoons, but if they're really not that ripe, you can add two tablespoons. And we're just going to stir it around until the sugar gets dissolved and we're just going to let it sit while we do the other steps. Now we need a cup of graham cracker crumbs, so we're just gonna put it in a Ziploc bag. I smashed it with my hand. You can get your regressions out. And then I finished it uh, just smashing it with a rolling pin. But you could also use the food processor, but I was lazy because I didn't wanna clean it. And then you'll just have these crumbs. Then take your two tablespoons of butter, melt it in the microwave, and then add a teaspoon of sugar, along with your one cup of graham cracker crumbs. And then all we're going to do is give that a stir until it's mixed up and it's going to look like coarse sand. You guys, this alone just to eat with a spoon is so good. Now you want to make sure your cream cheese is very, very soft. Now go ahead and add a little of the sugar and vanilla, and I will have the exact amounts in the description box and then we're gonna add some really cold, heavy whipping cream. Now we're gonna beat this until it basically doubles in size, which is gonna take anywhere from two to three minutes. But you want it to be super fluffy like this. You don't want any lumps in there. That mine took about two and a half minutes. So we have everything assembled. We have our diced strawberries, our cheesecake filling, and our graham cracker crumbs. Now I got these cute little parfait glasses at the dollar store. And now depending on the size of your glass, it's going to make either three or four parfaits. Um, these were pretty big glasses, so it technically only made three. I made like a partial fourth one, but it didn't fill to the top. So it's just going to depend on how big your glasses are. And see, we just make layers of it like this. Then a the strawberries go on last and isn't it pretty and it's so good you guys you're not even going to believe how much it tastes like regular cheesecake and then i just put a dollop of whipped cream and a half a strawberry on the top for a decoration 
And now who wouldn't love this for Valentine's Day or any day for that matter? I hope you guys are going to give this a try. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.